Hey guys, this is the Major in 2013 Chemistry A level Paper 23, which is one hour 15 minutes and so on so on dot 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 mm -hmm. Okay, draw and jot and cross diagram of the carbon disulfide molecule Actually, I thought I had turned on recording, but I wasn't recording so um, uh, I just wrote down so this is nothing big you must remember that carbon must have uh, four bond pairs Right, all of this electron must be involved in bonding. So it's obvious. If you look at the periodic table, you see that sulfur has a four negative, has a two negative charge. So you need to give two electrons to sulfur and four electrons to carbon. Right? You must have seen this molecule before. So just the shape of the molecule. The molecule is linear. Okay, because there are no. Uh, Repulsion, so uh, this refers to the VSEPR valence VESPR valence electron shell pair repulsion theory, which is found in your textbook. Linear, then the bond angle will definitely be 180 degrees, right? So, okay, carbon disulfide is readily combusted to give com carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide. Construct a balance equation for the complete combustion of CS2. So I've got CS2 plus a number of O2, I'm not sure how much. And it gives you CO2 and SO2, right? You must have two SO2 because there are two sulfides there. There's two sulfur on the right side, left side of the equation. So you must have two sulfur. So total oxygen here is two. Total oxygen here is four. It gives you a total of six. When you are using the oxygen molecule, it becomes six divided by three, which is three. Right? Basically, you need six atoms, which, in, which means three molecules. So that's about it. Define the term standard and the change of combustion. Okay. The energy released. When... One mole of a compound, mole of a substance of a substance is completely burnt in an excess of oxygen, is completely burnt in an Excess of oxygen completely burnt in an excess of oxygen. So it's completely burnt in an excess of oxygen under standard conditions. Okay, so you must you can either say the energy released or entropy change Because energy release means when it's called combustion it always means the energy is released not energy is gained. Okay, there cannot be energy gained. Okay Calculate the standard entropy change of formation of CS2 from the following data Include a sign in your answer. Mm-hmm The revenue Okay, so CS2 mm -hmm. So, okay, so the trick is to write down the equation Right the, the this is x this is zero this is basically just draw this x zero co2 is what's, what's that for co2 negative 395 
and this is 2 times negative 298 this is delta h f right no del not delta hf delta hr okay so delta hr plus x is equal to negative 395 negative 395 minus 2 times 298 x is equal to 1110 because delta hr is 1110 minus 395 no i'll just combine them 2 times 298 plus 295 991 which is 119 plus 119 kilojoule why did i put the plus because I've asked for the sign. If it's a minus, if it's a negative answer, we would directly put negative. But if it's a plus, sometimes we put we forget to put the plus. So I must read the instructions a second time to verify I've done everything. Include a sign in your answer. This usually well can kill you. Okay, this that's a killer thing. The sign must be provided or you may be get you may get a penalty of one mark. Carbon disulfide reacts with nitrogen monoxide in a 1 is to 2 molar ratio. A yellow solid and two colorless gases are produced. You must know that the yellow solid is sulfur. So carbon disulfide CS2. So you have got carbon disulfide. And this is 1 to 2, so NO2. 2 NO. Right? So you must know S is formed, sulfur is formed. So two gases, right? So CO2 and N2. Okay. So you must see two gases in the yellow solid. Okay. So verify two sulfur, two sulfur, carbon and two oxygen, carbon and two oxygen, two nitrogen, two nitrogen. What is the change in the oxidation number of sulfur in this reaction? So look at the oxidation number. We know that the carbon carries a charge of negative 4. Which means this is positive 2. Right? And in the end it is 0. From positive 2 to 0. Methanol. CH3OH Methanol CH3OH can be produced industrially by reacting CO with H2 Okay, the process is carried out at 4 times 10 to the power of 3 Copy A Okay, Lee, they have asked you after a long time for Lee Chatelier's principle The, oh, the if the conditions if the conditions of a system in equilibrium a system in equilibrium Are changed. The position of the equilibrium moves so as to reduce that change. The position of the
change. Okay, that's all. From your understanding of Lichtenstein's principle, state the conditions that will be used to produce an increased yield of methanol. In each case, explain. This is another state and explain question. And that too, it's a double state and explain question that gives you four marks of it. So you have to say what happens to the temperature, why it works out, and obviously, you have to apply Lichtenstein's principle, as mentioned above. Okay? Temperature. So the forward reaction, as we know, is exothermic. So decrease the temperature. Lower or decrease. The temperature. Okay. Why? Because the forward reaction is exothermic. Or you can say the forward reaction takes in energy. Sorry, gives up energy. This out energy so you'd see okay you see you didn't need to write and anything about Lichtenstein's principle because you already stated it above you know how to say Lichtenstein's principle because you already stated it and uh, it applies because they've uh, said from your understanding of Lichtenstein's principle so it's obvious when they mentioned Lichtenstein's principle it means that we don't need to mention it again and again okay pressure so of course there is one mole of gas and there are three moles of gas here so you must obviously increase the pressure increase the pressure why because there are more gaseous moles because or what not more because there are lesser gaseous moles on the right hand side of the equation Okay, the carbon monoxide for use in the production of methanol may be formed by reacting carbon monoxide with carbon dioxide with hydrogen. So they've given you another equilibrium again. So, what you must do is you must forget about that original one, you must just use this one. Okay. So a mixture containing 0.7 moles of CO2, 0.7 moles of H2, 0.3 moles of CO, and 0.3 moles of H2O was placed in a one decimeter cube plus and allowed to come to equilibrium at 1200 Kelvin. So remember they've given you the equation as well as the KC. Initial moles is this one. So I just put a thing called one final. Okay. Final mole will be 0 0.7 minus x. It's the same ratio, right? 0 0.7 minus x. 0 0.3 plus x. 0 0.3 plus x. So write an equation for the KC. You can see that because the volume is the same, uh, it'll be all divided by one means it makes no difference, right? Because the volume is one decimeter cube. So the concentration will be just divided by one, divided by one, divided by one, divided by one, which makes no difference at all. So you can see that these two are the same 
and these two are the same so it's reactions over products so we can just simplify the whole thing to 0 0.3 plus x whole square over 0 0.7 minus x whole square and that is 1.44 right as given above because the kc is a constant at a constant temperature regardless of whatever you're doing 0 0.3 plus x is e over 0 0.7 plus minus x is equal to 1.2 just take square root immediately 0 0.3 plus x is equal to 0 0.84 minus 1.2 x he goes to 3.2 x is equal to I just move the x around 0 0.54 right or wrong x is equal to 0 0.169 oh wait wait something's wrong something's wrong 0 0.7 this has to be 2.2 .2. right Sorry, this has to be 2.2. .2. Which means you have 0 0.25 here. Oh. Number of uh, carbon dioxide is equal to the number of hydrogen in it is equal to 0 0.7 minus x. Zero point four five more. Okay. N of CO is the same as N of H two O is equal to zero point three plus X. Zero point five five more. okay so that's about it so yeah so this is very common they've given you a section of the periodic table this is very common this come a lot of times before and after this paper okay from this list of elements oh wait this is question 3 which will be covered in the next video so be sure to subscribe so that you get notified whenever I upload the next video. Okay.